Okay, we just checked out of our Airbnb and I just wanted to take a quick video of the backyard. <laughs> We're down there. There's a little porch and entry and everything and we can park the car down there if we want, but we didn't we didn't want to drive it down this just in case it was rainy and it might be hard to get out, but isn't that pretty down there? Yeah. Austin's trying to get all the sand out of his shoe. So now we are going to go to some beaches and there's some blue sky over there. So good morning. I didn't, I don't know if I really said good morning earlier. It's Monday. We're on Winifred Beach and it's much calmer here than uh, Boston Beach was yesterday. But I also think that this, the weather is calmer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that one got my dress. This is technically a free beach, but they want you to donate. So we'll leave a couple hundred uh, on our way out. But there's like food shops and yeah, this is the place where there was an event at last night and they were charging us an entry. So we, we skipped it. I like it. I'm not even sure what the event was. Well, it was that beach sexy party. <laughs> it said, it said yeah. sexy beach is what it was called. Austin found something. <laughs> it looks like brains. It's coral. I know it's coral. Woo! Seems like the tide's coming in. Yeah. There's nice people here. Whoa! We just had someone ask us where we're from. They thought Germany. We said no, America. And they were impressed because they said the Americans always stay at the all-inclusives. <laughs> <laughs> spring at Blue Lagoon and you can see over here I'll show you you can see where the water is flowing in look at do you see how the water is all ripply it's flowing in from over there I just it's just so clear I just can't I don't know how to it's amazing there's the Blue Lagoon out there and this just flows into it so we rode the boat out there 
So Blue Lagoon is where the movie Blue Lagoon is filmed. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Yep, huh. right here. People are nice. We ran into some people who were here. Like we just came over to the Mineral Spring and there were only two other people here. And it was, it was this couple who live in Florida, but they're originally from Jamaica. And so they were just talking to us and they were nice. And we um, did that little boat ride. Normally the tour is apparently like 45 minutes to an hour long, but ours, we only did like 10 minutes and paid a lot less. And then he, he walked us through, there's construction going on. So as part of what we paid for, he walked us through the construction um, area back here. And so that we didn't have to go through the water over there like everyone else. And yeah, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, we're all by ourselves over here. It's very nice. And the weather's, I don't know. I like, I like it when it's sunny because then it's just like as pretty as it can be. But, but this is really nice, yeah. I just like all the vines and the trees. So it's 1. It's 1.04 right now. And we still have to go to Frenchman's Cove. And uh, what was the other thing that we wanted to do? Oh, um, Somerset Falls. I'm just really enjoying myself. This is very relaxing and slow paced. That's what I wanted yeah. for vacation. But we do have four hours of driving to do later today. So. <laughs> That'll be less relaxing. Uh, I don't know if Montillo Bay and Ocho Rios and everything will be as relaxing, so we gotta enjoy it. And Oh, and I told that couple that we were gonna go do the Jamaican bobsleds at Mystic Mountain, and they said that's really fun. We'll enjoy that a lot. So, sounds like we're doing the right stuff. Everyone seems to think we're doing the right stuff. Even yeah. the locals. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go swimming. I'm scared. Good. Oh, I feel cold water. It's, it's like cold, warm, cold, warm. A dragon warm. lives in this water. A dragon? Yes. People were swimming out like in the middle and stuff. So Hi, I'm in the Blue Lagoon. I'm doing it. I'm glad we're doing it. Guys, it's so dark and scary and I hate it, but also... Like, oh, it's weird. It's like cold and then warm. It's constantly, it's just constant, like hot, hot tub water, cold spring water. Constantly. It's so weird. Okay, the inevitable happened. I hurt myself. You. I fell on rocks in the blue, in the blue lagoon and scraped my knee on them. Sad. So you left a part of me. I left a part of me at Blue Lagoon. <laughs> so now we're headed to Frenchman's Cave Cove, Frenchman's Cove Beach. Um, I don't know if we'll stay though because it costs like twelve dollars US. I don't know. The beaches just aren't great right now with all the wind and everything. They're rough, so I don't know if it's worth it. We might just skip it and go to Somerset Falls, but we're just gonna go see if we can at least see what it looks like. We're at Frenchman's Cove. We decided to stop. We decided to just do it. Yeah. I guess my mentality of when are we going to come back here again? It's like, might as well just... I don't regret it. <laughs> it's so pretty here. Look at this. Look at the palm trees on the beach. That's, I was saying that earlier when we were at Winifred Beach that there's no palm trees on the beaches. They're around, but not on. But this Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> Do some swings. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. It's coming for you. I'm trapped now. Oh no! Oh no! No! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
you're done for. <laughs> this is you, where you live now. <laughs> so this is where she lives now. She's stuck here forever. It's not the worst place to be stuck at. I guess not. I'm trying to swing. You're supposed to face outwards. Am I? Yeah. This is a lot finer sand, so it doesn't hurt as bad. Oh my gosh, you're gonna break the tree. <laughs> Look at it swing. Okay, I don't have any regrets about coming to this beach. Look at this. Look at this. This is jungly like you like. I love this beach. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, and the water's warm. And look at that over there. Look at me? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely come to this beach. Oh my goodness. On the bright side, when the weather isn't good, less people, right? Yeah, less people. Yeah, there's like 10 other people here. Look at those trees with those roots sticking out. Oh wow. Up. Just jungle thing. This magical leaf. Look at this. It doesn't sink or Watch. float. Okay. See the water's moving. The water's moving. Watch. I'm gonna insert the leaf and it's gonna stay there. What the heck? The water's not actually moving. Is it raining? No, I'm smashing my finger. Oh. <laughs> Even the waves are touching the rope. Look at the what the heck? Look at how high the waves are out there. That is well above my head. Well, well above. Look at the rope. See that rope? Also well above my head. And the waves are going to touch it sometimes. Whoa! Oh my goodness. This is so weird. Ocean's scary. Yeah. Nature's scary. You're scary. What is this called again? This is Somerset Falls. Wow. And it's raining. Okay, I'm glad we did this too. Yeah. You too? Yeah. <laughs> We're going over. Ah! <laughs> That's scary. Rachel was saying this looks like Jurassic Park. It's raining just a little bit. So see that waterfall way up there? That's where we we're like almost going over with the boat. That was pretty cool. So it's a pretty short thing. Like we just did it in like 15 minutes. Um, but, ah, no! <laughs> I mean by mosquitoes. Oh my gosh, is that a big bunny?
It is a big bunny. Hi, bunny. That was fun. They because it's so late at night. Uh, it was only twelve dollars a person U.S. Normally it's um, fifteen. And they just took us up in the boat to the waterfall, and we could have gotten out and swam there if we wanted to, but we passed because it's cold and creepy <laughs> at night, just the two of us. Um, yeah, and then he took us back down and then to the edge of the waterfall like that, which was kind of fun and creepy and spooky. After this, we're gonna finish our drive over to Montego Bay, which is probably like three and a half or four hours. And then we're gonna check into our Airbnb and find some dinner and eat and go to sleep. Hi, little burb. This is like the main entry area. So there's slides over there and a pool. And I guess you get to use it if you pay the entry fee, I assume. Yeah. Tear totters and swings and all kinds of cool stuff. Look at this poor guy. Oh my goodness. Armpit one. Elbows. Oh, you got it bad. It's like four there. And his neck. What about your legs? Yeah, I feel some, but not Oh, look at much. the ankle there. The you hair baby. makes it so it's hard to get. That's my worst. Oh, that one's looking pretty nasty. Look how swollen it is. Yeah. Ooh. Dang mosquitoes. He's going 100 miles an hour. Go, go, go. Slow down. What is this, the Autobahn? Yeah, pretty much. I realize that it's not 100 miles an hour. It's 100 kilometers an hour. Calm down. I don't think this car could go 100 miles per hour. <laughs> The roads are so much nicer. Yeah. Also, look at this car behind us. Brights. Everybody has their brights on all the time. So it's a little bit, bit past six now, and we probably still have two and a half or so hours of driving until we get to our Airbnb, which is in Coral Gardens, which is um, outside of Montego Bay. So we'll go there and put our stuff down, and then go find some groceries, I think, and some dinner. I know you probably can't see me, it's dark. But we're about an hour out from our Airbnb now. Once we got to the Ocho Rios area and farther west, there's like gas stations and stores everywhere. It's not, it's a lot more currently developed over here. And for some reason, I guess we didn't really notice that when we were first driving to Port Antonio. Probably because it wasn't anything out of the ordinary because it's what we're used to. And then to go to Port Antonio and not see anything like that for a couple days and then to come back to it, it's like, oh look. But anyway, just wanted to give an update because we've just been driving. Okay, we have decided that we actually are still in Oregon because <laughs> we have seen Portland, Albany, Salem. We're in Salem right now. All, all towns or cities in Oregon. Now we're just wondering when we're gonna get to Eugene. I'm over here in the passenger seat just kind of freaking out right now because we're like in like a city. There's like crosswalks with you know, you know, the light up signs that say stop and walk. Take the next left onto Coral Gardens Avenue. Sorry, Google screaming at us. Um and like resorts and and billboards with lights on them and stoplights for one street lights medians two lanes of traffic with and with like sh paint stripes and no potholes i guess i'm just surprised at how quickly i got used to not seeing any of this and then to come over here and i don't know for some reason when we first landed and picked up the car we just weren't really aware of any of i don't know we just where it spent days in Port Antonio area and just thought that, you know, just got used to that. And then we come over here and we're like actually seeing. So we're at our Airbnb in Montego Bay and we're not very impressed. And it just isn't very clean, which is weird because some of the reviews, a lot of the recent reviews said it was sparkling clean. I don't know what they were saying kind of thinking about seeing if we can find something different. Not tonight, obviously, but for the rest of this day. Oh, look! A dead cockroach on its back. That's lovely. A 
that's the large one. It's a big cockroach. It's a big one. Yep. Yep. So, yeah. I don't even remember when we last checked in. It was probably me showing you that Airbnb. Um, yikes. So we went to Mega Mart and it's awesome. Super cool. They have everything. I love that store. It was great. We got toilet paper and paper towels and bananas and muffins and yogurt and just all kinds of good stuff. And then, so we got KFC again. And then we went back to the Air Airbnb and we ate the KFC. And then we like started furiously looking to try to find a new place and we were struggling. And then Austin found this one and I called because it was past midnight already and so we couldn't search for things that have a check-in of March 9th because it's technically March 10th now. So we're here and they were very friendly and they helped us carry our bags up and they showed us the room to make sure we liked it. And they told us, we were like, okay, so how do we pay? And they're like, don't even worry about it. We'll do take care of that in the morning. And they were just like really nice and they just wanted us to have a better night. So here we are, we have a nice big table and I don't know, it's just really nice and cool and there's a kitchen and um, I can't wait until it's light out so I can show you what our views are because we're, I mean we are kind of out in the middle of nowhere, like we literally like drove up the mountain for like five or ten minutes. I don't know if you can see out there, probably not, I'll show you in the morning, but there's just this really nice beautiful porch and here's the bedroom we've got ac and it works and i just feel so much better here we have a balcony oh my gosh just palm trees right up we can touch them wow i can't wait to like see that more in the morning so much happier and we have there's other guests here but we're the only one with a car so we there's a car our little car we can see it from our window we just have the whole driveway to ourselves, and there's like a whole herd of stray dogs down there oh and breakfast is included and oh do we see the bathroom yet we have to go see the bathroom we have a little safe and yeah very nice